Cash Management The management of cash and near cash assets Liquid assets Cash and investments that can easily be converted into cash, such as checking accounts, money market, funds, and certificate deposits. Deposit type financial institutions Financial institutions that provide traditional checkings and savings accounts, commonly referred to as banks. Non-deposit type financial institutions Financial institutions such as mutual funds and stock brokerage firms, which don't provide checking and savings accounts. Online banking The ability to perform banking operations through your personal computer. Demand deposit A type of checking account on which no interest is paid. Now account A checking account on which you earn interest on your balance. Savings account A deposit account that pays interest Money market deposit account A bank account that provides a rate of interest that varies with the current market rate of interest Certificates of Deposit Savings alternatives that pay a fixed rate of interest while keeping your funds on a deposit for a set period of time that can range from 30 days to several years. Money Market Mutual Funds Mutual funds that invest in a short-term notes a very high denomination. Asset management accounts. Comprehensive financial services packages offered by a brokerage firm, which can include a checking account, credit and debit cards, and MMMF loans automatic payments of fixed payments such as mortgages, brokerage services, and a system for direct payment of interest, dividends, and proceeds from security sales into the MMMF. U.S. Treasury Bills Short-term notes of debt issued by the federal government with maturities ranging from 4 weeks to 12 months. Denomination The face value or amount that's returned to the bond holder at maturity, it's also referred to as the bond's par value. U.S. Saving Bond A type of security that's actually a loan on which you receive interest generally every six months. For the life of the bond, when the bond matures or comes due, you get back your investment or loan. What you get back at maturity is usually the face value of the loan, although the amount you 
get could be more or less than what you paid for the bond originally. Annual percentage yield The simple annual percentage yield that converts interest rates compounded for different periods. In the comparable annual rates, it allows you to easily compare interest rates. After tax return the actual return you earn on taxable investments once taxes have been paid, it is equal to the taxable return plus the non-taxable return. Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation The federal agency that insures deposits at commercial banks National Credit Union Association The federal agency that insures accounts at credit unions. Direct Deposit The depositing of payments, such as payroll checks, directly into your checking account, this is done electronically. Safety Deposit Box A storage unit at a bank or other financial institution in which valuables and important documents are stored for safekeeping. Overdraft Protection Provision of an automatic loan to your checking account whenever sufficient funds are not available to cover checks that have been written against the account. Stop Payment An order you can give your financial institution to stop payment on a check you've written. Cashier's Check A check drawn on a bank or financial institution's account. Certified Check A personal check that's been certified has been good by the financial institution on which it's drawn. Money order A check similar to a cashier's check except that it is generally issued by the U.S. Postal Service or some other non-banking institution. Traveler's check Checks issued by large financial institutions like Citibank, Visa, and American Express that are sold through local banking institutions and are similar to cashier's checks except that they don't specify a specific pie and they come in different denominations. Electronic Funds Transfer Any financial transaction that takes place electronically? Automated Teller Machine Her Cash Machine Machines found at most financial institutions that can be used to make withdrawals, deposits, transfers, and account inquiries. Personal Identification Number 
a 4 to 7 digit personal identification number assigned to your account. Debit card. A card that allows you to access the money in your accounts electronically. Smart cards. Similar to debit cards, but these cards actually magnetically store their own accounts. Funds are transferred into the cards, which are then used the same way you'd use a debit card when the funds run out. The card is useless until more funds are magnetically transferred in.